Hi, this is Justice from LearnBuildBox.com. I'm going to take you into the second part of this tutorial. Uh, we're going to make this a little bit more complex. All right, so uh, what I like to do is I like to take the um, fancy brushes that I download online and use them when I'm making backgrounds to save a whole bunch of time. So I'm going to click on the brushes. Now I have a whole bunch here. Now you notice that they're grayed out. One of the important things you need to remember is to click on your brush icon over here, which is Control or Command B. All right, so we're going to click on the layer. I like to create a new layer in case I absolutely hate what it is I've done. Uh, I have this still in a non-destroyed state. We're not going to ruin the landscape today. All right, so I'm going to pull down. I found some brush packs uh, for trees or foliage, uh, and we'll find some. And they have complete trees, complete plants, complete grass, and all you have to do is basically just stamp them on there. I like these ones a whole bunch. So click on here. Now this one's pretty big and the wrong color. So what I'm going to do about that, I'll hit Control Z. Now here's the color I want, and I could click over here and it'll select correctly, or I can just click the eyedropper tool, or you can hit Alt click, or Command click on the on a Mac and select your color that way. Uh, now we'll click here. You see this is still too transparent, which is because I have that brush sent to full transparency. We're going to bring the size down on that brush. I click up here on the drop down arrow, change the size, or you can right click and do the same thing over here. So I'm going to click and we'll make a little tree a little littler than I like. Uh, bigger tree and let's pick a different brush. We're going to change the size and we'll do right around here. Now, I like that tree a lot. Alright, we'll do another one and you can also change the size right here. This is brush presets by the way. I usually drag these up here. They're just a little more useful to me that way. Alright, I'm going to control Z drop that down a little bit. All right, now this is looking like a lot more interesting background, one that I would like. And obviously you can spend as much time as you like on this and spice it up, do whatever you well, feel like you'd like to do. I have a couple brushes in here for grass. So if I click there, you can see the size of that. But I could, I could throw in a few of these here and make this look a little bit more interesting uh, than we were doing before. Now if I want to change the direction, I could go here. This is the brush button, and I'm turning this here so that this, you can see over here, what direction that will go down. Um, you'll see all these here, and there's a little bit of color change here. If I had sampled from higher up and done the same thing, you would notice that it would match a lot better. So you can just alter command click right there, and then put your brush down and that's going to give you a, a different look. Now while you're naming these, you're saving as a PNG again. Uh, I like to make sure that because I have a lot of different assets that I'm creating for the games that I want to name these in a way that makes sense to me. So I'm going to name it first what it is. It's a mountain. It's blue, that's descriptive, and this one is less boring than the last one. I'm going to hit save. We're going to replace it because I did this right before this and there you go um, by the way if you guys didn't know I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS5 for this tutorial uh, I think most of the more recent Adobe Photoshop's will work for what we're trying to do alright thanks uh, we're gonna go into a little bit more detail in the next tutorial I'll see you there